This is the truth. This is reality. Don't kill the messenger. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. I'm warning you that the people in this city who do not believe on Jesus Christ are on their way to hell. Whether I say it, whether you say it, whether anybody says it, it's the truth. Right. People who are not saved, the Bible says, will spend eternity in hell. Whether you like it, whether I like it or not. And you're watching a football game. You're watching a basketball game. You're watching a baseball game. Right. You're criticizing Pastor Anderson. You're criticizing other pastors who are standing up and preaching the truth because it's too negative. Because it hurt my feelings. Because it turned off a visitor. Hey, I'm not here to turn on a visitor. I'm here to turn on some soul winners Amen. to go out Amen. and preach the gospel and win people to Christ. Amen. I'm here to try to turn on some visitors. I'm not turning people on for the kingdom. Hey, if the Bible turns people off, then they're just going to have to be turned off at Faithful Word Baptist Church. Say, oh, you preach that, you're going to turn people away. Well, you know what? The door swings both ways. We don't need a bunch of watered-down phonies in this church anymore. Right. I just Amen. assume push them out the door. Amen. Sick and tired of, of a bunch of people thinking that I'm preaching because I'm trying to build a big church. Hey, Jesus Christ said, upon this rock, I'll build my church in the Amen. gates of hell so not prevail against Amen. it. I'm not trying to build a crowd. If we wanted to build a crowd here, we'd just bring in a rock and roll band. Right. And we'd have a crowd. Yep. <laughs> we'd get a, some girls up here in a miniskirt and call them the worship leaders. And they'd just sway back and forth. You know, while I'm up here leading praise and worship. That's how you get a crowd, folks. I could get a crowd. You don't right. think I can get a crowd? I know how to make the crowd happy. I know how to be a public speaker. I don't want to make people like me, but you know what? I don't want to make people like me. I want to preach the truth. Amen. Amen. And you know what? We don't need a bunch of phonies in this church. We don't need a bunch of unbelievers right. in this church. Right. If you don't like the Bible, if you don't agree with parts of the Bible, if you don't believe in the Bible, you might as well just leave today and never come back. Amen. Because this church is for believers. Amen. Did you hear me? Believers. Believers. This is not unbelievers. Oh, don't you want your church filled with unbelievers? No! The world is filled with unbelievers, and we're going to go out and win them to Christ. We're going to go out and preach the gospel to them. But no, I don't want my church filled with unbelievers. Do you want your church filled with unbelievers? No. I want them either to get in or get out. And I don't need people in this church who are going to sit there and question God's Word and question the Bible. If you don't believe the Bible, you don't belong here. You belong somewhere else. Say, oh man, you're afraid people are going to leave if you preach like this? No, I'm hoping that people will leave because I preach like this. Because I love Faithful Word Baptist Church, and Faithful Word Baptist Church didn't get this way by being all-inclusive. We just want everybody. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. If you come to this church, you better believe the Bible is God's Word, Amen. and you better believe every word of the Bible is God's Word. And if you're going to sit there and say, well, I don't agree with that part, that part, then get out of here. Hey. You don't belong here. That's right. You know, and, and this church will grow and thrive and win people to Christ whether you stick around or not. We don't right. need you. You know, the church doesn't even need me. If I drop dead tonight, this church will continue. This church will survive. This church will continue to go on. Because it's not me, it's not you, it's the house of God. Faith for Baptist Church will continue on, whether you fight it, whether you agree with it, whether you quit. Hey, I hope everybody who doesn't believe in what we're doing here just quits the church, just gets out of here. And they have my blessing, and I'll help them find another church too. Because I hope that they at least leave and go to a fundamental Baptist church and not go to some liberal new evangelical mess that's known as a church.